Hello and welcome back everybody, Akmaldiel here, and six hours ago of me recording this, at the least. Wait, no, oh, wait, was it six? Wait, no, it was six. My bad, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, um, I did watch this at work, which is why I'm not doing a reaction, but I'm doing more or less a post thing based off of my thoughts and what I think about what the hell just happened, alright? Because... Because while well, this, because well, in case if I didn't know, I am a Pokemon fan, all right? I love the game Pokemon. I absolutely love it. Um, I've made a lot of friends because of Pokemon. I play this game at a competitive level for the video game. I love Pokemon. So, so naturally, I would be one to watch this and and more or less have more or less have an opinion on it be because because well when i say i've taken it to, to a competitive level it's not like just online no no i've actually been to leagues i've been to other states doing tournaments i've done this at a competitive level uh before and which by the way those which by the way those are fun as shit but more or less i just wanted to say my thoughts on 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 well, what was revealed, what I think is good, what I think could be something, more or less my post thoughts on this after I've had time to think. All right, and, and the main reason why I didn't stream this and it's not a proper reaction, that would be because I was at work and this was at nine o'clock in the morning my time. So that sucked. I was lucky that my boss was actually able to, that my boss was able to, to give me a free, like 20 to 30 minutes that way i can watch this which, which i'm very thankful for her i love my job <laughs> but but by the way um uh, before i officially start the analysis uh, i have links in the description feel free to check them out and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well i would love to hit 1000 before the summer starts just a personal goal of mine and more or less just a random end date i attacked on i could say end of the year but I want to see how fast we can hit 1,000. It would mean the world to me if that were to happen. And which, by the way, I will have volume. It will be a little quiet, though, because I do want to try and avoid copyright, because I know Nintendo. Thank you, Dragalia Lost. <laughs> but, but well, um, let us begin. So, obviously, the um, I'm not going to cover this part, because, to be honest, this was, in my opinion, a waste of of um five and a half minutes of my time because like we we already know all this we already know the life of pokemon at this point um i do want to i do want to skip ahead a little bit to of where yes for example right here pokemon snap i will actually pick this up because i've never i've never played pokemon snap i've never played it um, I've always heard great things about it. And to be honest, this looks cool. Look at it. This looks really damn nice. So honestly, yeah, I will I will try it. Um I don't know I don't I don't know about content, but maybe like a one-off, maybe. And that's a big maybe. But oh just look at it. This looks fun. This looks fun. Nothing too serious uh, to take here. Because like look, you can throw up a part on an apple. Just look at it. <laughs> This, uh, this was like, it is something, uh, that would be fun for, like, a few days, then, 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 then just, uh, do whatever afterward. Even, like, proper camera stuff, which, by the way, I did take, uh, photography. Uh, for example, that's rule of thirds. Oh, wait, no, I want to pause it. For example, this is rule of thirds, right there. And look, I can even decorate photos, too. But yeah, this this is just a cute game. Um, um, so um, I'll take this as similar to how I took a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee to where it's just like a fun game, not meant to be taken seriously. Just turn off your brain and relax, and just and just ooh hey, <laughs> very very nice, very excited for this, very excited. And, and hey, Celebi too, pretty damn cool. But so at this point, it's it, it's uh, it's it's a little halfway. And, and also April 30th. I will absolutely take that. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. Then also um, 25th Annie stuff. I will be doing this on stream uh, tomorrow, actually. So feel free to come for that. Where I actually have a shiny uh, toxicity code. So 
So we'll just, so just if uh, you want it, uh, come on by and I'll figure out how to do a giveaway. I've never done one before. So that's uh, going to be fun. Um, I do not play Cafe Mix, so I don't care, but sure, um, I believe those are important. Po on go, um, I, I, I mildly play that. I would at most do it for the Mewtwo, honestly. I do need more Mewtwo's. I, I love Mewtwo. And Masters, um, in, in, in like one or two days, I actually do have a video summoning for him. All right. All right. I was I was I was able to record it a uh, uh, beforehand. Uh, before I did this, I can spoil you on the summons now. But however, you are just going to have to wait because um, TLDR, uh, you guys are going to hate my luck. All right. All right you guys are going to hate my luck. My luck isn't only applied to Dragalia Lost. All right. It bleeds into into other gotchas as well. So so yeah, you cannot escape a uh, lucky Akimel over here. You cannot escape it. It. I am eternal. Next video. Okay. Okay. This. This is something I definitely want. I definitely want to talk about. All right. This is big. This is a very big one. Because because just in case well, you don't know, and couldn't tell by now, this is this is Diamond and Pearl. Remakes. I want to tell you what my initial reaction was right now, right? Alright. My initial reaction was oh cool. Remakes. That then I looked, I was like not gonna lie, you, you can see visible cringe on my face at this point. Because because I was not expecting this. I was not expecting it to look like that. In, in which well, in which in which way? I, I do want to go back a, a little bit. In my opinion, this player model it looks weird. In my opinion, it, it looks weird. Everything else honestly does look fine. But but we're just seeing DS DS models, base models. I I should say off of on then put onto a switch. Where me personally, I was I was already used to the to the natural 3D models. It was just a shock and a half. It really was. So me personally, this looks like a one for one remake. But but however, someone did point out actually. I want to see if I can I want to see if I can find it again because 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 it's actually pretty damn big in, in my opinion and worth mentioning. Just in case if you are still on the fence. All right, right here. All right. So, so in this case right here, right in, in Diamond and Pearl, um, um, it's it looks like this. But in Platinum, they have Platinum NPCs. This NPC right here is a Platinum NPC, right? This is not in she is not in Diamond and Pearl. She's only in Pokemon Platinum because she's in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I have a feeling they will include some platinum content. Now, though, I do need to see what that content is or potentially DLC. All right, I I know how some people f feel about DLC. In my opinion, better than it, but better than an entire second game. That's just my opinion, though. But if they do include, even even like a um even like a um. Um, platinum episode, um, similar to what the Delta episode was in Oros, I will 100% buy this game. But but other than that, because this looks like the way it looks, not n not just models, just just judging it all, all off of what this game looks like for now, and based off of what this trailer is, it looks like this is a one for one remake. In which which well, me personally, it doesn't appease to me. Because I actually never completed Sinnoh. I actually wasn't a fan of Sinnoh when I was younger. I know the humanity. I know the humanity. And to be honest, I don't want to. Alright. Alright. If, all right, if I'm if I'm just going to go through go through the, the exact same story, I'm honestly just not gonna bother. But but however though, I will say this though. This if this I am glad they are doing a one for one remake. Because be, because oh, I know that for Oras, oh no, they changed too much. I don't like it anymore. Stuff like that. I am glad that that's like okay. This is exactly the game you want. 
this is exactly the game you want. There it is. Just now upscaled to, to the Nintendo Switch. I am fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not bashing Diamond and Pearl. It just doesn't appease to me. That's about it. But however, just if... But however, just if... Just if uh, you start uh, complaining about, about like, oh, oh, look at the fucking trees, look at the models. Um, well, uh, models are ant, eh, in my opinion, but... But when you start nitpicking, you look like an asshole. Like, honestly. You, you, you start to look like a bum. So... So pretty much, if you like Sinnoh for how Downfall was, this will be the game for you. If if you're if uh, you don't like it, don't buy it. Like it's that fucking simple. Don't bitch. Just don't buy it. And 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 be civil about it. Don't be a douche. But 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 however, this this is what I'm excited for. All right, this is what I am most excited for. And, and well, and well, I was freaking out all over Twitter about this as well, but, um, I want to skip a little bit because all this one, I'm assuming you guys did see this already, but this looks amazing. I, one thing I will say real quick is that, yes, I did, I did, I do have a sword and shield. I did purchase uh, the DLC. I did like it. I did enjoy Sword and Shield. I especially enjoyed how the DLC felt. Not so much about the DLC itself. I did enjoy uh, Crown Tundra more. I'm going to say that right now. Be, be, because, well, because, well, especially with the Crown Tundra, it made you feel like you're back in the old days catching hard to get Pokemon. That was fun for me. It was hell, but it was fun as shit. But, but I loved how the wild area felt to as of where everything was, was was that camera, everything was roaming, walking with you. It felt amazing. This game has that feel already. And and, and when we feel, I've seen people compare this to Breath of the Wild. In my opinion, that's an instant up because I enjoy Breath of the Wild a lot as well. Do a barrel roll. Then also this too, that's really damn cool. Like this, like, in my opinion, this game just looks really cool. And also the battles, too. The battles, you are still there. Oh, um, there's, um, there's, um, wacky chingling. I saw that. Okay. Okay, though, I can notice, uh, uh the frame drops. But, well, to be fair, they announced this for early 2022. So, there's a lot of polishing that can still be done. A lot of fixes that, that can be done. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just, I do want to mention this real quick. I'm, pig, I'm picking Synthequil. You cannot stop me. Shut up. <laughs> but, but, I did see the leaks. I was freaking out over the leaks because I, because, because I love the open world genre and the fact that it's Pokemon now, I, I just about lost my shit. But this, this right here. This made me nut. All right, this absolutely made me nut because because what I love even even above open world is expansion on lore. All right, I love it when when they take the time and the energy to go back into an existing franchise and just expanding on what is already known and truly. And truly weaving it into like its own proper, I guess, legend. That is what I love. And it looks like they're doing this with Arceus. Because in my opinion, Arceus is one of the coolest things to ever happen. Because he's God. He's fucking God of this world. And the fact that they're starting with him? That's cool. That's cool as shit. Maybe, maybe potentially... And, and, well, and well, this is me uh, spit, spitballing. What if they properly explain why Garatina is in the distortion world? Why why Arceus is the way he is? Will they potentially move into... Well, not move into. Incorporate some potential very small 
movie lore and and just more or less may, make like references connections potentially maybe even incorporating some of the some of those like personality traits and putting them in here maybe just really really nice food for thought this is this is the game i'm most excited for purchasing this day one i don't care and also also one more thing they said this is a single player rpg all right open world rpg there is no second version with this because there is no second version you can complete the the entire pokedex by yourself you don't need a second version you don't need a friend you just need yourself to do it that is nice because i hate relying on second versions absolutely hate it i've always viewed that as a money way this is nice i do hope I do hope that this game is, is is successful. I really do, because of people because people are, are are saying yes, it is clunky, it is clunky, it is laggy. You can notice that the frame drops, but remember, it's a year away. They still have time to polish that, work out the kinks. A year is a long time to do it. Maybe even more than a year. It, it, for all we know, it could, it could release in late March. That's a little over a year. So they definitely do have time. I am excited for this. In case anybody couldn't tell, I'm excited for this game. And and honestly, that's about all I really uh, need to say. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this is this is something else I want to talk about. I actually am glad they are doing this. They are really they're really lightening the load on a Game Freak. I am glad about that. Because now Game Freak can, can really start to pump quality into their games by, by having other staff more condensed, more focused on one title, while in the meanwhile, like, like well, their other projects are being outsourced to other companies. Because, well, let's face it, another company we working on Pokemon, that could put them on the, on the map. That really could. So... This is nice, honestly. I I am a fan of this. I am a massive fan of this. Uh, next thing I do want to talk about is not this. Oh, oh by the way, uh, one more thing that could take me uh, buying this, um, if competitive is tied to this. If competitive is not tied to this, better be a damn good uh, platinum episode. If competitive is not tied to this, I will not buy it. I'm just saying that right now, because 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 once again, for competitive, you need the latest version of 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 whatever Pokemon game is available. If that's not the case with this, I will not purchase it. Uh, I'm trying to uh, remember this now. I I, I sorry. Uh, this this just explains everything a little bit uh further. And by the way, once again, yes, I am picking up uh, Cyndaquil because I prefer Cyndaquil than the other two. And which, will, which will, by the way, um, are these technical past iterations of a uh, fucking uh, Diamond and Pearl? Because if so, are they reincarnations in the ones that we know? <laughs> just some food for just, just, just some food for thought. But yeah, this this honestly looks great. I love this. Also, this menu looks clean as shit, and and also uh, and also once again, once when the battle starts, you're still in the world. You still feel interactive instead of in, instead of you cutscening to, to to another screen. You feel like you're still in there. That's why I love about this the most. And you're right there with your Pokemon. This is cool. See, just like that. That's cool. That and Arceus too. Yeah. That's something else, all right? That's something else. Like, like, well, I did want to mention this before, but now I just have remembered it. What if they were to take this game concept idea, depending on how they do it, all right? I will probably expand expand upon this after after I beat uh, the game and whatnot. But what if they were to take uh, this idea of expanding on a mythos and really, especially on the mythicals, and really turning them into their own stories? What if they were to do one for Darkrai, um, a Pokemon Legends Darkrai, where they where they explain why him and uh, Cresselia are pretty much always in always in battle because one's dreams, one's nightmares. Surely something had to start that. 
maybe that could be explained. Maybe do one on like on like a Rayquaza, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not a Rayquaza. But just an example, because Groudon and Kyogre, well, why, do, why do they want to battle so much? Maybe maybe that could explain that. Do one for Mew. Show us Mew in the past to as of why they went to near extinction, then evolve it into, uh, into whatever Mew is alive with Mewtwo. And potentially show them interacting. Like they can do a lot with this with this type of idea and just expanding on legendary lore. They could do a lot depending on how they do this. It could be really, really good, I feel like. I cannot wait. But by the way, either way, um that is that's it for the third, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. So so TLDR, um, I'm most excited for Arceus, um, um, Diamond and Pearl. They can take a back seat. Snap. I'm going to get Snap because I never played Snap. And and hey, it looks like a fun game. Then then I'll see all the 25th uh, any stuff. I will be doing something on that tomorrow. So Twitch link. Make sure you check that out. <laughs> and and that's it for and that's about it for my like a post analysis. I would say. But hopefully you guys are excited for, for, for what Pokemon is doing. I am glad they are expand. Excuse me. I'm glad they are expanding as much as they are with this. I really am glad about that. It shows that they are trying to find what people are interested in, potentially finding different genres for the same concept of Pokemon. I'm loving what. I'm loving the expansion that they're doing. Obviously, you can't appease everyone, so so they're trying to find that one thing that can appease that person. I'm just very glad that I'm very glad that they're trying. All right, rather than just doing uh, the same broken formula, they're actually trying new things, and the Switch is allowing them to do that. Which, by the way, uh, gives us a Switch Pro already because this game's chugging as is. <laughs> gives us a Switch Pro, damn it. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Links are in the description. Please do check them out. And once again, feel free to subscribe for more content in general. Mostly Dragalia Law, sadly. Not so much Pokemon. I want to hit 1k before summer. That would be very, very much appreciated. Uh, if it doesn't happen, uh, I don't know, honestly, at that point. But it, but, But I would love you even more if you were to. And until then, I will see you all tomorrow. So, see ya.